Hey everyone, another of the 2019 LEGO City Space Sets was revealed today, and it's a big one, with over 1,000 pieces, 1,055 to be exact. This is the Rocket Assembly and Transport playset. As of the recording of this video, I don't have a price, but you can definitely expect it to be well over $100. It could even approach $150, given the number of large pieces. Based on these official photos from LEGO, I definitely cannot give you an objective analysis of this set, because I subjectively like it too much. In this picture here, bottom left to upper right, we're looking at a small rover. There's a clean room lab slash hangar place to work on the rover and other cargo that's going to be sent to space. A small to medium Earth-based truck for transporting items around your Earth-based space facility. And it has a crane on the back of it. There's a launch control facility in the back. And on the right hand side of the screen are actually three separate things that are pictured together. The overhead frame structure that's a little bit reminiscent of a Tron recognizer is actually an overhead gantry crane, which is used for transferring cargo back and forth between two vehicles. There are at least two things wrong with this picture, but they're kind of nitpicks given that this is just a toy. First of all, that rover just came out of a clean room and now it's being transported around in open air? Well, that's not clean. Secondly, that rover is not being held by the crane. Look, there's no weight on the string. In all seriousness though, I like all of this here. For me personally, even that small truck off to the side brings back a lot of nostalgia for 1970s toys which frequently had minivan style cabs on trucks that had a lot of rake to the windscreen and some reverse rake down below underneath the, the headlights. It reminds me a little bit of a Corvair van or one of the original Ford Econo lines. And then the entire spacecraft and launch vehicle assembly is on top of something that's partly inspired by NASA's space shuttle crawler, partly inspired by some Russian Tundra vehicles and Arctic exploration vehicles, partly made up. I just think it looks really cool. I like oversized, really, really tough tracked vehicles. And then like a mobile intermediate range missile launcher, this doubles as a transport vehicle and also a launch platform. Now the thing that you're going to launch itself consists of multiple sections. On the left here, you have your lift rocket assembly. In the center is a cargo module. And on the right is the crew craft, which is also a re-entry and landing vehicle. The cargo module will just barely fit the rover when it's fully folded up. But when you unfold that rover, it looks pretty nice. Notice also the humanoid robot and the new geode piece, which can be split apart with two identical pieces that will just fit next to each other. I look forward to collecting lots and lots of those in different colors in the future. Here's a look at the crew module with the top removed. So it just holds two people in there and they have printed consoles. The Earth-based launch control building is actually fairly small and simple. It's open on the top and open around the back, but it has those very nice curved top windows. And it also has a rotating satellite transceiver dish, which will rotate a display down below for people on the inside. This is the rover lab, which is set up as kind of a clean room garage for preparing the rover and doing some some last minute tests on it, I'm sure. This is set up pretty nicely on the inside, and I think the hangar style doors look great, as simple as they are. But I have a big problem with this. Very typically, Lego structures are open around the back. Often they're open around the back and one side. But when you open the doors on this, it's open around all sides. And this is supposed to represent an enclosed, sealed even space. This definitely needs at least some more of those 1x6x5 panel pieces to give it some walls. What they did include here though, again, I think looks great. I've already done a video previously covering the rest of the city space sets that were revealed a little bit earlier. So check that out if you haven't already, and know that as soon as these sets become available to purchase somewhere that I can purchase them, I will be getting them, I will be building them on my build channels and reviewing them right here. So stay tuned and I'll catch you later.